Oh, well, hello, YouTubers. All right, so we're to the stage now where I need to separate the ash from this stuff. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, uh, these are plastic integrated circuit chips, believe it or not. Um, they started out as plastic integrated circuit chips, a few pounds of them. And uh, what I did was I soaked them in AP solution for a couple of weeks to dissolve all the legs off of them. Then they went through my foundry and got oxidized. Then they went through a blender and got you know blended up into a powder and I sieved out all the big chunks of base metal that were left and what we're just left is with is this nice flight fluffy white powder here that has some bits of metal in it a lot of uh, silicon dye gravel and gold bond wires from the IC chips so now what I need to do is I need to get rid of the the bulk of this material which is this fluffy white ashy stuff from oxidizing the chips so I'm just going to wash it away, basically a little bit of a gravity separation here. Going to be very careful with it so I don't lose any of the gold bond wires. But it's a pretty simple process. My garden hose over here. And I'm just going to wash this stuff into this bucket. Make sure I get all of it. I'm going to turn this up to 11 on here, and I'm going to really mix this up with the water to try and get as much of that uh, light fluffy stuff in the suspension as I can. I'm going to let it settle for a few seconds. The metal, including the bond wire, should fall to the bottom, and I'm just going to pour the liquid off into this pan right here. Do it again. Let it settle for a few seconds. The metal is going to fall to the bottom really quickly. It includes, you know, the bond wires. They're metal. They're gold. They're very dense. They're going to fall to the bottom very quickly. But I've got this pan here to catch anything I lose. And you just continue this process until the water's coming off clear. It's getting clearer already. It's only the third time. Look at how much the volume has been reduced. Almost there. Getting pretty clear. I'll do it one more time. But I'm not seeing any more of that ashy stuff suspended in there. There's a lot of uh, small bits of silicon dye gravel. Some of it's very, very fine, and that's getting suspended in the water column, but I don't see any more of the white ashy stuff. So I would call that probably good enough right there and the volume has been greatly reduced. Now let me deal with anything that I might have lost in this and pour it off slowly. So there's some solids in here. I'll just do this a little more gently.
gonna get the water coming off of this stuff clear and I'll dump it in here. That's pretty good. And there we are. Okay, the volume has been greatly reduced. There's a lot less material to work with here. But there's still too much because what I need to do is I need to dissolve the metal out of this that's not gold. There's going to be some copper in there, a little bit of iron after I... I still have to remove the bulk of the iron with a magnet too. But even after that there's going to be a little bit of iron in there, there's going to be a lot of copper left. And um, there's just too much material here. If I put this in a beaker and start treating it with acid, there's so much material that the stuff at the bottom is, is just, just not going to get any kind of treatment. So I need to reduce the volume even further. And that's where the gold pan comes in. I can very carefully pan this down to maybe one-tenth of this volume without losing any of the gold. And I'll show you how to do that because there's, there's ways to safely pan without losing gold. It's kind of like what I did here. When you're doing your gold panning, you pan into, one, into another pan so that whatever comes out of your pan, you don't lose it. And then you can repan that and make sure you catch anything you missed. So I'll show you that process too, but I mean already in just a few minutes I have greatly reduced the volume of this material, gotten rid of all the, the ashy stuff which doesn't contain anything, and uh, we're ready to move on to the next step. Thanks for watching. Keep it safe out there.